Hello friends, in this video I'm going to explain you how the hash mod work in the view router and also the lazy loading. Okay, but first I'm going to create a component for our navigation. So if we go to the app.view, we have this uh, router link and I'm going to create a separate component for that. So come here and new folder and I'm going to name it navbar.view and I'm going to copy the router router link here three routes we have cut from here and go to the navbar create the view, view template and I'm going to leave it only the template for now hit save close this one and here I'm going to import that import navbar view from view and here I'm going to add it okay Seth close it here hit save and uh, go to the browser refresh and yeah we have the same thing now if we go to the router index.js we have imported this uh, create web history and added to the history create web history if, if we import now the create web hash history and also add it here that create web hash history hit save and you see here now we have the hash and I'm going to go to the Vue.js, refresh, Laravel, ValueInt, Vue.js. And I'm going to remove this one. Yeah, go here, Laravel, ValueInt CSS, and Vue.js. And we have the hash node here because we are the signal page mode and this is for manipulating the route but uh, we have this create web history for the Vue.js and now if we remove it yeah it's good to go okay now uh, I want to show you First, come here and uh, I'm going to run npm run build. Yeah, now run npm run build. Okay, and now we have the index HTML and the index and js and also the vendor js this is our uh, application the whole application is inside the index js and is uh, 1.71 kilobyte okay so if we go here and uh, now we have this dist folder here we have index js and inside the assets we have the index bundle okay now uh, come here open the developer tools and if we go to the network close this one and refresh oh yeah sorry we need to run npm run dev okay now refresh and uh, we see here we imported the Vue.js.view, Laravel.view, ValueCSS.view, and also the knife bar, but all the pages we imported here. But we are in the Vue.js page, in the home page. So if I go here and now add the lazy loading component, so for example in the Laravel, 
for the Laravel and for the Tailwind. I'm going to say an anonymous function and here import and it's going to import the laravel.view okay so the same thing now for the Tailwind component anonymous function and import the component and the uh, Tailwind CSS.view and now we don't need that so if I save and come here and refresh and you see here we have imported the Vue.js but not the Tailwind and Laravel now if I clear and go now to the Laravel yeah right now we imported the Laravel component also the Tailwind CSS now right now we imported that and in the Vue.js we have imported before okay so I'm going to do the same thing for the Vue.js or because this is the first one I'm going to leave it as it is and I'm going to run again the npm run build and we are going to see now we have the index.js before we, we had only the index where we yeah only the index and the vendor now we have the index js also the laravel js and tailwind css js okay we, we created separated files for them because we added in the lazy load so here and also the vendor okay friends so that was for this video hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best